Can take me put no shoot. Howdy there. This is Agent John Weston. I have a question about booking a room. Yes, sir. Um, uh, what you need? Thank you. So, I'm looking to see if y'all got any available rooms for April 2025. April 2025. Just give me one sec here to log on to the correct systems. See, reservations are all right. There we go. Thank you kindly. All right. Uh, which date in April 25? Uh, sorry. Well, let's see. How... No problem, partner. How about checking for availability from April 10th? From April 10th. Uh, let's see. How many nights would that be? Let's plan on a week. So that would be seven nights. Seven nights. All right. Thanks, partner. No worries, sir. Sounds good. You got availability for April 2025. Also, what kind of rates should we be looking at? Okay, yeah, available is, uh, we have rooms available. And um, see, uh, how many people would there be in the room? Or, yeah? It'd just be me, myself, and I. One person. Yes, one person, all right. Uh, okay. Um, Appreciate it. Mm, that would be What's the price range looking like per night? Perfect. I appreciate that information. Now, tell me, how far is the hotel from the Munch Museum? I just love the scream paintings. It reminds me of my pig back in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're about five minutes away from the Munch Museum. We're basically within walking distance to any uh, site you might, uh, you might want to visit. Well, ain't that just fantastic. Sounds like a prime spot. Uh, mind telling me the name of the hotel again? Seems it slipped my mind. Scandic Biporten. Thank you so much. Scandic Biporten. I'll yes. keep that in mind. No I'll worries. give you all a call back soon to finalize everything. You all yeah, have no a worries. wonderful day now. You hear? Yes, Bye-bye. Goodbye. Take care now. All righty. You all have a great day. Take Okay, as you probably guessed, that was my AI agent calling up a hotel, trying to get some information about a room that he wanted to book in the future, right? So many of you might think this is very unethical and it's wasting people's time, but uh, I just wanted to do this experiment to kind of see, because I think in the future, this might be something that we all encounter. Uh, I don't know how it's... Is it unethical? I'm not quite sure. I guess I could have made that uh, same inquiry about the hotel room next April. Uh, but it's just very uh, interesting, right, to have a look at it. So how I did this. Uh, so today I just want to go to a bit into the code here, kind of explain how I did this. Uh, so as you probably saw, we extracted some information from that conversation. So I think I just want to head over to the pipeline I built for this and have a look at that before we go a bit more into the code and I think I'm just gonna do like a live call here to just show you how this works so here you can kind of see my pipeline so we are using Twilio we have a phone number there that is kind of connected to the OpenAI real-time API via this WebSocket right and we have some special configurations to kind of get through that dial menu at the start uh, I'm not gonna dive too deep into this but basically we use Twilio we connect to the real-time API here where we have our agent set up right and this conversation is recorded uh, by Twilio and stored as an mp3 file and we can go ahead and fetch that in the same pipeline and transcribe this uh, with Whisper into a, like a JSON format and from this JSON format it's very easy again to use GPT-4 Mini with structured outputs to extract the information we want from that transcription right and that is what you saw in the start here where we found out uh, we tried to find out what price it was what dates what hotel and how long it was uh, to walk or get to that museum right so this can be customized in any any way you want right to get the information you want is it effective i don't think so yet uh, because i have some thoughts about that i will uh, show you later but let's just take a quick look at the code now uh, before we do this live thing uh, i can call myself here 
so hopefully you can see this here but you can see uh, we have a pretty standard setup here with Twilio uh, so you can see we have this system message uh, I thought I could just show you this because this is quite important as I found out so if you go to my personas here so you see we have your name is AI agent John Weston 50 year old American and we have this voice config so I guess I could have just done like this so you can see we kind of have the voice config broad mail best Texas eight accent use filler words laugh be positive voice speed very fast right and the task is looking for a hotel room i have some important rules so always speak an accent in english and we have some instructions introduce yourself howdy there it's agent john i have a question uh, find out if there's available room for april 25 found out the price i guess we could do this okay i kind of messed up this but it's fine okay so you can see Find the distance to the Monk Museum. Uh, politely ask what the name of the hotel is again. Let them know you will call back soon. So these are my instructions, right? And the goal is to complete these instructions. So basically, this is the system message I put in for my Twilio real-time agent API. Uh, I tried a few other things, but the issue is the voice is not very human, natural-like. So a few of my attempts, uh, they just hung up on me. So I wouldn't say this is prime ready for production yet. Uh, but I also wanted to show you here. So let me show you here. We store our recordings. Uh, I can just play one for you here, I guess. So this is one of my tests. Uh, yeah, if we play this, we can hear this is the recording. Hello, this is Candy Hotel Oslo. Hello. Hello there. It's John. Hello, John. How can I help you? Well, I'm thinking about heading up to Oslo. Come. Yeah, so you can hear that. That was one of my tests. So basically, the pipeline is, like I said, this goes through kind of, you can see here's the recording. This goes into this transcription here. So you can see here's the full transcription, right? And then we use the GPT-40 to extract uh, some data from this transcription. See if I can find it here. AD. Uh, maybe I don't have it here, but you can see here. You can see Scandic Oslo, April 1500 knock, 16 minutes to distance to the Monk Museum. So we get this in a nice JSON too, because if we go back to the code here, you can see we have this class here that is going to extract hotel name in a string dates in a string price in a string so everything is a string here i guess we could have some integers but that's fine so this is what we are using to extract the structured outputs from the transcription so i can show you where that is also here is kind of where we put in a number so we put in the hotel number here uh, i could have made a ui for this but i haven't i just put in the number here i want to call and we, is, we call from the Twilio number we have, right? And here you can kind of see the session update using Twilio. So we uh, send this to the OpenAI WebSocket. So we have kind of our voice, we have our instructions, uh, we have the temperature. I put this quite high. Uh, I found that that worked a bit better. And if you scroll down here, you can kind of see we save the recordings, yeah. Uh, what I wanted to show you was, yeah, you can see we are using Whisper here to transcribe the mp3 file into a json and we are using english language and here we are using uh, gpt40 mini to actually extract the airbnb information so we just have the system message extract the information from the conversation we feed it in the json file and that's about it and we get this in kind of a nice structured output as you kind of saw here right so this works pretty good uh, but I kind of wanted to do like a live test case uh, so we can actually try to extract. Uh, let's try, should we just do the same example? Uh, maybe we can change it up a bit. Okay, so I changed this up a bit now. So now we want to find the receptionist name, the weather in Oslo, restaurant and the distance to the airport, right? And for that I kind of had to change up the prompt a bit. So now we have a new instructions here. So ask about the name. Ask about the weather, good restaurant in Oslo, right? Ask about the distance to the airport and let them know you will call back soon. I don't know why, but that is basically the instructions. So I put in my own phone number now. 
So let's run this now. So how we do this, we just start this Ubicorn app here, uh, server, and we can just do this curl command to call, uh, make the call. Okay, so you can see it's calling now. So I'm just gonna answer this and let's listen to the recording after because I think that's easier to hear. Okay, so you can see now we kind of close our connection here. So the recording is complete. We all have the URL. We fetch the URL into our recording here, the MP3 file. And this is gonna be now transcribed. So we're gonna save that as a JSON to conversations, right? And then we're gonna transcribe it. Uh, so uh, I know you haven't heard the conversation yet, so let's just have a listen to it and yeah, we can check out the data after. Okay, so here it is. So yeah, just li let's just listen to this together now. Hello, you're speaking to Scandic Hotel. Howdy there, this is Agent John Weston. I have a few questions about Oslo. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Well, as first off, what's your name? I gotta say, it's always nice talking to someone miles away. Reminds me of back home on the pig farm in Austin. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris. Well, Sigrid, uh, nice talking to you. Uh, now, can you tell me, what's the weather like in Oslo in April? Looking to plan uh, my trip, and I'd like to be prepared. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Chris, like in Christian, just for short. Um, the weather in Oslo uh, in April is, yeah, it's okay. It's a bit cold on the cold side, uh, maybe like 10 degrees C, and yeah, we get a lot of rain in April. Well, that's good to know, Christian. Be sure to pack my warmer clothes and a raincoat then. Uh, now, how about a good recommendation for a restaurant in Oslo? Could use a good place to eat after a long day of exploring. <laughs> yeah, I guess you. I, I usually just go to McDonald's. Oh, I see. Well, McDonald's is a classic choice. But if I wanted something a little more local or unique to Oslo, any ideas? Maybe a spot that serves traditional Norwegian dishes? Huh. Uh, let me think a bit about that. Uh, I would just go downtown and have a look, right? I don't have any specific good recommendations in mind at the moment. Gotcha. Uh, thanks for the advice, Christian. I reckon I'll wander downtown and see what catches my eye. One last thing before I let you go. How far is it to the airport from the city center? Okay, so you have a few options. You can just take the airport train. That's about 20 minutes. Uh, you can take the bus. I would say that's about 30, 40 minutes. Appreciate it, Christian. Sounds like I've got some good options. I'll let you get back to your day. But I'll call back soon if I have more questions. You take care now. <laughs> uh, uh, are, are you interested in a room, sir? Or Not at the moment, Christian, but I might be soon. I'll keep Scandi Hotel in mind when I'm ready to book. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. Hey, bye, Christian. Take care now. <laughs> bye. 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 Ha. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, uh, yeah, I guess it worked. It wasn't pretty strange, though. It wasn't 100%, but it pretty good, if you ask me. So let's see now. Uh, this was 4F, right? So you can see we have the transcription here. That looks pretty good. It's in English, right? Uh, if you look at the data for 5, let me just find that. Okay, so we got some interesting... Look, I can zoom in a bit here. So if we scroll this down, I guess we can just stop this. So, is it like this? So, we got the name, Chris. Yeah, that was good. So, we kind of changed it. It said Sigri first, but it changed it. Okay, that was good. So, we extracted that. Uh, weather in Oslo, around 10 degrees C and rainy. Okay. Uh, restaurant in Oslo, no specific recommendations. Uh, suggest looking downtown. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Because I didn't give any specific recommendations. I just said McDonald's for joke. And it kind of didn't... It did follow up on that, so that was interesting. Uh, distance to the airport, 20%, 20 minutes with the airport train, 30, 40, 40 minutes by bus. Yeah, perfect. So you can see this is this pipeline here is actually working. Uh, we get everything, the information we wanted. So let's say what I was thinking about, maybe in like a future version of this, we could just call up uh, a lot of different hotels. Uh, and what I found interesting about this actually is, is that... This is easy to find online, right? This kind of information. 
But what's interesting, as we did now, we could find what I have kind of called very specific data that is not so easy to find online. Uh, I guess restaurants in Oslo is easy to find online, but if we get some recommendations, we can maybe prompt every hotel to ask about do they have yeah diary free food in the restaurant right so we can gather that data and there's a lot of different data we can gather using this type of uh, pipeline i think and it's a super interesting thing right and uh, but this is just the beginning of it i think and like i said in the intro i think this many people might think this is a bit unethical to do uh it might be uh, but I think we just have to wait and see what happens because I might sometimes see that the inbound calls could also be an agent. So we have two agents talking to each other, right? Let's say the inbound call is uh, another AI agent that has the knowledge base right from the hotel. I think this could be a glimpse into the future. I'm definitely going to explore this more. Uh, so th there's still a lot of stuff to go through here if you're interested in this code. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, later this week, maybe next weekend, uh, I'm going to make a tutorial on my uh, members page where I go through everything, how I set this up uh, using Twilio and connecting everything using the auth tokens and how I kind of set everything up because it's a bit long for this video, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on that now. I'm on travel and stuff, so I don't have really the setup here to do that. But next weekend, I think I'm going to put that up on the membership uh, along with the code, right? So if you're interested, just become a member and we can do that. So one last thing I wanted to show you. So this is the make outgoing call. So this is how we handle the menu part. Because when we call a hotel, we often get set to this. Press 1 for English, press 2 for reception. So we can kind of set this here uh, to use the agent to press a digit. So that kind of solves that issue. That was something I was struggling a bit with. Other than that, yeah, super interesting, I think. And uh, like I said, this might be a glimpse into the future. And this is a space I'm definitely going to explore more. Super happy with the pipeline. We can actually this, um, extract some valuable data here. And we get this in this nice format using uh, structured, for, uh, structured outputs. So pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope this inspired you. Just become a member and I'm probably going to do a tutorial. I'm a bit behind on the members by uploading the codes, but that will be there soon. So yeah, thank you for today. Thank you for today. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day. And we speak again soon.